Greetings, 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 my V family all over the world. This is your chief. Welcome to my Wednesday message, guys. Um, well, firstly, happy anniversary to everyone. Okay, last week on the 8th of September, Globally, we celebrated our 24th anniversary. I made a Wednesday message highlighting the 24 summarized lessons that I've learned on this journey from my mentors, Japa, Dato Sri Vijay. It's simply been unbelievable. Now we are in week uh, 38, all right, or 39. Things are rocking around the world. We're all gearing, gearing up for VCon, 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 VCon. The whole team in the V corporate family, QNet corporate family, putting together the, the final touches, the magic, guys, the magic to the most unbelievable event in network marketing history. All right. And this week, I've been uh, crazy. It's been Saturday, Sunday, non stop. I flew to Penang to meet the chief minister last Friday. Um, and J.R. Meyer is in town in Kuala Lumpur, so it's been crazy, non-stop meetings, putting everything together, guys, okay? Appreciating the decision made on September 8, 1998 by Japa and Dato Sri Vijay that has completely freaking changed so many lives around the world. And this week on Wednesday Message, I don't know why, just before this, I was chatting with some people on WhatsApp and I wanted to remind everyone of why you're here, why you're watching the Wednesday message, why you come to VCon, why you're part of this amazing journey with QNet and our founders and the V partners. Why, why, why did you say yes and click, I accept, I agree, put in your e-card number, your credit card number and made a purchase of an amazing product from QNet. So today, this is your chief, your upline, representing Japa and Datu Sri Vijay. And we are here. All right, for many reasons, okay? I believe in the many reasons of being an entrepreneur in this e-commerce platform called network marketing with QNet, you know, growing, uh, becoming an entrepreneur, practicing rhythm, um, making a difference in people's lives. But let me talk about why I signed up, why everyone I know signed up. We signed up because we didn't want to remain poor. Now, that's the truth. That's the reality. Right? I grew up poor, not knowing I was poor when I was a child, but I grew up. I started to know things around the world. I started to realize there's a group of people that I constantly see who don't seem to worry about money. And I'm constantly with another group of people, amazing people as they may be, but we constantly talk about how broke we are. And at some point, I made a promise to myself that I'm going to find the solution to move from this group of people which is today 98% of society, to this group of people, all right, which is 2% society, but still care about the rest of the people, still make a difference on this planet and, and, and help people achieve their dreams. But I was very clear in my mind, and I'm very clear until today, that the purpose I am a networker, because I'm here to improve my financial standing. All right? Everything else is a bonus. Everything else is extra. If I become a better person, yes, that's thanks to Japa and Datu Sri. If I help change the world in some small way, yes, that's thanks to this great industry called network marketing, QNet. But ultimately, guys, your tracking center is there for a reason. Your tracking center is there for the purpose of you earning money. Right? Money that you cannot earn in your job. The, the, the exponential, limitless potential of income in network marketing where you can earn 250 a week as you start your journey 
and in a few years you can be earning 25,000 a week. No job, no traditional business would ever offer you that without a high level of risk, a lot of investment and a lot of heartache, stress and you die of a heart attack. All right. So we are here for financial freedom. I say it so many times and I think people tend to forget, oh, Chief just said financial freedom. It almost like, whoo, passes over you. So let me make it very clear at four o'clock in the morning in Malaysia, you are here for financial freedom. That's why you signed up. That's why you do what you do. That's why you pick up the phone and you call people and you invite them for a presentation. That's why you signed up, guys. You signed up to make money. There's nothing wrong with it, all right? You should be proud of the fact that you're a few of the people who decided to get out of your comfort zone and start this journey of entrepreneurship. You should be extremely proud of it, all right? That's the first point. First point of network marketing is don't shy away from the topic of financial freedom. Don't shy away from going up on stage and saying, I was poor and now I want to be rich. Don't shy away on talking about your dreams when 99% of our dreams actually become a reality because of the money you make from your tracking center. Don't shy away from this. All right? I hate people who say, oh, I'm here not for money. I'm here to... That, 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 that's not real. Because at every point of my journey of life, I knew the hardship of being poor. And you know that. I knew the hardship of going to a restaurant and reading the menu the other way to only eat what we could afford. I saw the struggle and pain in my mother's eyes growing up. So I'm not ashamed to say that I signed up in 1998 to become rich. I'm not ashamed of it. I'm damn proud of it. All right, because in the process of me becoming rich, I helped a lot of other people become rich. That's the only way you become rich in network marketing. Are you guys with me? That's why I'm so grateful that Dato and Japa found this part, all right, to help us, not any other part. They could have done anything else, but they chose this part where you can only be rich by helping other people rich, but there's no shame in wanting to be rich. I think it's your God-given right to want to upgrade your life, to want nice things, to wear nice things, to live in a better house. And the first rule of achieving that is owning it, being proud of the fact that one day you want to make it. Don't shy away and hide behind this false humility. Oh, I don't mind sleeping in on the floor. I don't need a $10,000 mattress. Of course you need a $10,000 mattress. It is proven scientifically that it's more comfortable than sleeping on the floor. I have slept on the floor. I know a $10,000 mattress is better than the floor. Are you guys with me? Right? So it's okay to want things. It's okay to dream big. It's okay to talk about financial freedom. It's okay to say, I want to be rich one day. It's okay to say, I am rich. That doesn't make you evil. It doesn't make you bad, right? Especially in network marketing, because I know if you are earning $25,000 a week, you help a lot of people earn $250,000, $500,000, $2,000, $5,000, $7,000, $12,000, $20,000. So own it. Be proud that you want to be rich. That's why we signed up. We didn't join network marketing as a social club to escape some pain of loneliness in our life. I signed up to get the biggest check that could possibly be given by the company. That was my goal. That was my destination. And that's a great destination to have. So the first thing is it's okay to want to be rich. It's okay to dream and talk about it every single day. That's why I signed up. That's why you signed up and it's cool. All right. Welcome to the world of entrepreneurship. The second thing, all right, is make sure that you understand that this is important for your organization, that your organization cannot be distracted by all the subjectivity of network marketing, which are all great stuff. You learn to grow, you learn to build a team, you get to build relationships. There's a lot of things that you benefit from this business, but don't allow your organization to hide behind it. Pull them back to reality. What is reality? What's your next check is reality. 
This is a question I ask everyone. That's how TAT started. TAT started, right? If you know what TAT means, it's the target achieved target that you send to your uplines every week, right? So they can keep track and you are under pressure to perform. That's how TAT started. Because every time I met with my leaders on this week, I would ask them, what's your check next week? 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 Those of you who remember, that was my tagline. All right, I would, I would, I want to make a t-shirt. What's your check next week? You know, if anyone from corporate is watching, get it organized. What's your check next week? Because I had to bring people back to the reality of the purpose of their journey. Their purpose of their journey is not to be in a social club. Their purpose of their journey is not to fill up their free time by coming for trainings or coming for events. No, the purpose of this journey is to get your check from zero to 250. And then keep building and take it to 500 and then 750 and then 1000 and inshallah 2000 then 5000 7000 you don't sleep you don't eat you don't do anything all right you don't focus on your selfish needs you just focus on getting the check higher and higher and higher because that is what defines success in network marketing nothing else you can be the greatest speaker you can sing kumbaya until the cows come home. It does not make a difference. What will define success in network marketing is what is calculated as your commission when Friday closing time. That is what defines your power as a successful networker. That is what defines your power as an effective upline. So if you are sensing that you yourself are living in this la-la land of subjectivity and you're not focused on your check every week, your organization will duplicate the same bad, negative, pathetic mindset that the check is not important. I'm sorry, the commission is the most important element of your journey because it impacts everything. Your check grows, everyone in your organization grows. You earn bigger commission, more people earn smaller commission in your organization. And this is fundamentally important. And I'm reminding you this week that that is the purpose of your journey. Your journey is about earning as much money as you possibly can by building a powerful, sustainable, consistently growing organization. Because you're not here to look good and smell good, but be broke. You are here for financial freedom, something I believe in, something Dato and Japa has talked about so many times. We're here to change the world. You cannot change the world without money. I'm sorry. This is a reality. Wake up, smell the coffee. I'm saying this with love, guys. So if you yourself have a mindset that you are here for every other thing except your commission, you're not going to succeed in this business. You need to be focused like a hawk, like a maniac, like a fanatic, like me, on what happens every week on Friday midnight that will decide the financial reward or results that you will get of building your QNET business. This is where you have to refocus everyone. Now, don't get me wrong. Personal growth is important. Relationships are important. Everything element of network marketing is so important, but it means nothing if your check is zero. If your check is zero for a long time, you're focused on the wrong things because it's not difficult to get 250 a week. It's not difficult to get 500 a week. It just requires a little bit more consistent hard work to earn a thousand a week or two thousand a week. The problem is if the uplines don't emphasize this message that success is defined by the size of your commission and allow the whole organization to hide behind various excuses and holding hands and singing kumbaya, that's when an organization has the lowest amount of people earning money. If you want to define success in network marketing, the first definition is your check. Very clear. No matter what I say, that's how you're going to define your success. What commission you see every week on your Quest account. Okay. The second definition of success in network marketing, if how many people in your organization are earning checks consistently, whether it's 10, whether it's 20, whether it's 100, whether it's 500, this is the measurement right, of success in network marketing. Your check and the checks of your downlines. Quantity, all right, both ways, the quantity of the check and the quantity of people earning the checks. This is fundamentally important. So this is your chief reminding all of you. QNET is not a social club, all right? It's not a place to hang out and, and fill up your time. 
You're here to build a business. You're an entrepreneur, right? And you need to earn checks. You need to earn your commission. And the faster you earn, the more powerful you become as a network. I promise you this. I earned my first check in 48 hours. Unbelievable. I think that was the secret of my continued success and my survival of the many times I lost my network or faced the crisis. Because the minute you earn a check, ASAP, as soon as possible, boom, your belief level whoo, hits the sky. So don't allow people to linger in your organization without a sense of urgency to earn a commission, to earn a commission consistently, and that commission to grow gradually but surely. This is fundamentally important. So this is your chief with a strong reminder to all of you, whether you're brand new or you've been around for a long time, you did not sign up to hold hands and sing Kumbaya. You signed up to be financially free, baby. Remember that. Love you guys.